hello everybody. How are you all today? It's been a, a, a cooking two days and Moosey and I have a lot of things to look forward to next week. We have a tea party coming up with two little granddaughters. We've been invited to that and- great Oh, great granddaughters, excuse me. Molly's two little, Annie and Kelly, one and two. So I have to get an, a tea, afternoon tea outfit ready for that one. And heard from Mikey and he is coming up this Sunday. So we're gonna see Lizzie and Megan and Dane and the girls are gonna stay with us. Stay tuned for the making of the dark forest with the white snow falling on my, my forest of trees bun cake. You've all been waiting for that one. I also made another date nut bread with my own twist. I did a little shortcut here for this date nut bread. I added some uh, real dates, all warmed up and softened to a box mix of date nut bread. It made it so much real, more real. I added a cup of nuts and it was absolutely delicious like the original recipe. So as you can see, I'm very wound up and I don't know whether that's due to the Nordic Ware Bundt cake itself, the pan, or moi. So stay tuned, gals. It's going to be a fun video with some cooking and some chit chat about fun times to come. Well, here we are again at the VA clinic. Moosey is, has just gone in for his consultation. Last week, if you remember, we were down here for his lap work and it's very early in the morning, 8.30, which is good because we get a good start to the day. So today I am going to make that bunt cake on the way home, maybe after Moosey and I get our croissant breakfast at Burger King, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the store. These turtlenecks drive me crazy sometimes maybe sitting here in the closed up car, but it's cold today. But I washed this sweater. My sweaters, my Walmart sweaters have been washing so beautifully. And, um, but every once in a while, as you know, the knit tightens up a bit, maybe that's it. So I'm gonna be pulling on my neck here. So more about the tea party. Um, I think, let me put this up. Uh, you do know Molly and her two little babies, Kelly, who is almost two, and Annie, who just turned one. She just had her first birthday, and she's starting to walk. She has a little rollator now that they have. Things almost just like what Moosey uses. And these babies learn to walk, pushing these, they're, they're almost like a, I forget what you call them, but they're, they roll around and they help you learn to walk. <clears throat> well, on the big purge day that we had, the weekend of my birthday, where the kids all came, I think you might have seen that um, video. If you have not, I will put it in the description block box below. It was uh, all about the dumpster day. I got caught dumpster diving. The children all decided that their mother needed a good purge of all the things that um, had been piling up and collecting. Not so much getting rid of my treasures. They didn't want to do that, but they do know I'm a collector. And of course we haven't, we've lived in that little cottage now since we retired, <clears throat> gosh, almost 20 years now. Well, the girls, my daughters, I have three daughters. They are mindful of my things. And there were certain things that I wanted to make sure. And I had a talk with the kids ahead of time that my treasures might not have seemed treasure to them, but they were good about most things. But there were broken clocks from earthquakes and various other things that obviously had to go. But one of the things that I had been that I had boxed up a long, long time ago, and I've had it maybe, I don't know, eight or nine years, was a tea set that I did find in a thrift shop. It was beautiful. I don't know how many pieces there are to it, but it it's ceramic, 
and it's rabbits and flowers and carrots and greens and it's sort of 3D the way the ceramic plates and things are. It has four plates, four cups and saucers and um, cutlery. There's a teapot and a creamer or sugar. Oh, it's beautiful. All about rabbits. Mm -hmm. Dubby saw the box and looked in it. And she said, oh my goodness. I said, yeah, that's a treasure I'm saving. She said, can I, can I take it? And I, you know, she has little granddaughters. So she took it. And I guess for Christmas or after Christmas, she, she did um, give it to Kelly. But before she gave it to Kelly, <laughs> Barry is so cute. It was obviously wrapped up carefully, but it was filthy. So Barry boiled it and carefully washed and, and um, uh, made sure that every single piece was clear of any dirt or anything that would harm the, the children and cleaned it up and wrapped it very carefully, each piece again. And then Dubby gave it to Kelly. Well, Dubby sent me a video of Kelly opening Molly, opening each piece carefully. And Kelly said, oh, and she was making these so excited faces. She has been refusing to eat any meal unless it's on her little rabbit um, tea set, little plates. She holds the little cup, drinks her milk, whatever. Well, little Annie, who's one year old and adores her sister Kelly, sits next to her, watches her. Oh, to make a long story short, which I usually never can, we have been invited to Molly's <clears throat> next week, someday next week, we haven't set the date yet, to a tea party with Kelly and Annie. So Moosey and I are going to a tea party and I can't wait. So I am going to make little tiny English tea sandwiches where you take the crusts off. And I always have loved those. When we lived in Scotland, I went to so many little teas and coffees and the, the Scottish ladies would make the most delicious little tea sandwiches, watercress and cucumbers. And but <clears throat> I don't know about those with the girls, but definitely egg salad and, and um, um, tuna. And um, I think they might like some cucumber sandwiches. So I'm gonna take the crusts off and, and then you cut them in little triangles. And uh, Kelly is going to make cupcakes with her mommy. And Molly got so excited when I said I'd make the tea sandwich. She said, oh, well, I'll make some scones. And so we are going to have a very proper tea party. So I don't know what to wear. I have to go through my tea outfits, my little afternoon tea outfits. So it's in the afternoon. And maybe dig up out of my antique linens a little, um, I have these little card table type antique tablecloths with beautiful embroidery on them and some little napkins. So I'm going to see if I can find that. How exciting can life be for a great grandma to look forward and a great grandpa to look forward to a tea party with two adorable little great grandchildren? Nothing better. You know, I have my little planner here with me. Actually, it's a 2022 planner. I still haven't gotten a new one yet since I, the day I lost my, my folio with my phone and all my cards and everything trying to look for one. I do have to buy a, a new one, 2023. But um, I do, I'm at the point where my life is becoming so crowded with tea parties and shopping and doctor appointments, all these exciting events. I have to uh, make a list of some of the things I have to do. So today I am also going to have some fun because I have been asked to pick up one of our granddaughters, Shannon, Colleen's youngest from school at almost five o'clock. She is participating in some kind of a class after school group of hip hop dancing. And I think I told you that Shani has been doing Irish dancing ever since she's been three years old. She was a champion, had so many prizes and trophies and ribbons, was um, at the point when she was about, oh, I guess, what was she, 12, something like that, when she, hurt her ankle badly and had to stop dancing. She was um, 
uh, at the point where she was looking forward to, believe it or not, going to Ireland to hopefully compete in some the big Irish dancing. It was one of her goals, but she she had some problems with her ankles and eventually had to give it up. Well, we've just gotten home from the doctor visit and we stopped on the way home, obviously for our car breakfast. And then we were right near a Walmart, a super Walmart on the road on the way home from the doctor. So we said, let's do your, do your shopping. I had some food shopping to do. I had to get some uh, cake mix for the bunt cake and a few other necessities. <clears throat> so I went into this giant super Walmart and walking from one end to the other and to the front and the back, I had to get some bird seed and I really did get a workout. So I came home, put all the food away and now I am ready to make this bun cake. Now, this is somewhat of an experiment on my part. I have this beautiful Nordic Ware bun cake, as I've shown you, and it's quite tall and very, very bumpy and complicated on the inside. And I'm gonna show you this. So one of the directions says, make sure that you grease or oil the inside of the pan. And you can see all the nooks and crannies in there. And I wanna make sure that I get it all. So I have up here, I have my spray. And I'm going to spray it and hope that that works. Now my second problem is the fact that I did read that if you're going to use a cake mix, you might need two boxes. Now. I, it, this is pretty deep. I wanna make sure I get all the way up to this bottom part here with the cake mix. Do you think it'll rise that much? Or if I use two, that means that I need six eggs, one cup of oil, and two cups of water. That's a lot of, maybe, maybe I can always make cupcakes with any leftover, but should I go to the the extreme of making two. I did buy two cake mixes and I'm, I'm gonna show you those now. So here goes, I have a lot of things. I have to pick Shannon up at school and I need to get her at 10 minutes to five. So I really don't have a lot of time. I don't know, it's somewhere around 1.30, o'clock now. So let's begin. Ooh. Do you hear? It sings a song when you hit it. <laughs> That's Nordic wear for you. So someone suggested, you know, I think that was Rita. Rita suggested that I perhaps make a chocolate cake and then have white icing or white powdered sugar for the snow coming on the trees. I think I might do that. It's a beautiful forest. And I did buy some Heinz, Duncan Heinz cake mixes, two of them in a moist chocolate. Now, when I was reading about bun cakes, it also said, and I think this is funny, that if by any chance, when you turn it out and you don't get, this is involved here, you don't get the perfect shape that you want, you can always make a trifle. And you know what a trifle is. Bunches of cake all mixed with, with pudding and whipped cream. I've made those because we used to make a lot in Ireland and Scotland. So I have that option if it doesn't turn out, but I do want to see this turn out. So here what goes. What I decided to do was to mix one box and I put three eggs in, half a cup of vegetable oil, and also one cup of water. And I mixed it up and I'm going to put it in and see if it fills it up enough to where I think it will rise to give me a full bundt cake. If not, maybe I'll make the second, but I think I might get by with just one box mix. The directions did say for a bun cake mix, this would do. Now, maybe all buns are the same, I don't know. Also, when I was reading about bun cakes, it said don't spray or grease your pan until right before you're ready to put it in the oven because it will, uh, some of the um, grease or or whatever you're putting in here, butter or spray, would drip down the bottom and it wouldn't be ready for the cake. So I'm gonna do it now and 
get ready to pour all this in and we are ready to go. So let's hope this works. Okay, let's see. Did that. Now here we go. I've mixed it up, ready to pour. I'm going to bring this down here. Let me turn it. You know, this this bowl is so heavy, I think this might be enough. Let me just push the rest in here. It looks like when it rises, it should be enough. You know, I'm gonna take a chance and do this. Now, once again, I have to go get my spatula. I think this is gonna do it. Let me get the spatula. You know, it seems to fill it up quite a bit. You tell me, I still have quite a bit left in the bowl. Don't you think that might be enough? It's almost filling up over to the bottom of the trees and I think it might work. Fingers crossed, ladies. Oh yeah, there's still quite a bit left here. I think it might do it. I'm getting all chocolatey here. Uh, yep, I think two would have been much too much. This is going to do it. Hope I didn't get chocolate. Oh, I did get chocolate on my glasses. Oh. Now I'll get chocolate on my hair, but that's okay. And I can't see. Wait a minute. Can't see your chocolates on my eyeglasses here and my hands. And now the camera. Okay, <laughs> just wash my hands. I have to wipe off my glasses. Okay, I have the uh, bunt cake ready to put in the oven. I've had the oven heating. It's ready to go at 350 degrees. And it says for a bunt cake to cook it, I believe for a bunt cake, bake time is 33 to 36 minutes. And that's at 350 degrees. Now my oven has been heating and I'm ready to put it in. Look how filled up it is. I think it's gonna make it, don't you? Fingers crossed, ladies. Look how pretty that is. Okay, putting it in. I had to make a little adjustment there. When I put it in the oven, um, it was uneven because of the tips of all the trees. So I had to get a cookie tin and put it on top of the, the cookie tin so that everything will come out nice and easy. So in about 30 minutes, a little less, I'm going to check it, see how it looks. And let's keep our fingers crossed that it will rise to the full top of the pan. Now, I just thought I'd tell you, for supper tonight, I'm making a soup. You know, I've been trying to clean out my freezer and use up everything from my freezer. It's just stuffed and I can't put anything new in there. I have a lot of different kinds of meats and things. And I have some leftover pasta from the other night. I made... Uh, I've made a couple of pastas in the past couple of weeks and we had a sauce with it. I, I'm trying to get a lot of vegetables into Moosey and myself. And I cleaned out the vegetable bins with everything from broccoli to carrots and onions and you name it. I put it into this sauce and I made a sauce of uh, vinegar and basil and olive oil. And, and then I put some cream in, it was my invention and it was delicious. But I had a lot of pasta left over. Uh, and I have some rotini noodles in there. So I'm going to make a soup tonight. Use all the leftover noodles. I have a package of grilled chicken strips that I'm just going to throw in. So it'll be a chicken noodle soup. And I have some baby carrots that I'll chop up a little bit. I also have celery. I'm going to put some celery in and maybe some onions. And I do have some chicken stock low sodium, and I think that will make a nice warm soup tonight. And I have some rye bread for Moosey to dunk in his soup. So I think I've got everything set, and I have to leave the house about 4.10, 4.15. Shani's about um, maybe 30, 35 minutes away. So getting all my cooking done, and then we'll go into the living room, and I'll finish up this video for you with a finished cake, hopefully. It's still pretty hot, but 
I think I'm going to try and do this. It seemed to be okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> the big reveal. I'm going to push you forward. Maybe we can see better. I'm nervous and I, I put all my other things in the wash. Let me use this. I can touch better with this to try and lift it. Oh, you know, it's a hard one to lift. I can't get my fingers around it. It's hot. How'd I do? Huh? Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, wow, it is dark. You probably could have seen it better. Not a crumb left inside. <sighs> it worked. Now let me see. Oh, wow. Look at my dark mountain cake. Ah, oh my goodness, it worked. It looks like a volcano in a way, doesn't it? But those trees are dark with the chocolate cake. But look, now it would be up to me to, to absolutely ruin it now, but look at the middle. Ah, I'm so thrilled. It came out, look at all the edges of the trees. And let's see what some powdered sugar looks like on here right now. Oh, I'm so thrilled that it came out. <gasps> Cute. Maybe I like this. Look, this looks like snow. <laughs> I am so happy doing the happy cooking dance. Well, I think that might be enough for now, but let me show it to you. Snow is falling on my trees. Ooh, maybe a little icing on the top if I could make it real runny um, because this might soak into the cake. The cake is moist, it smells delicious, and I'm gonna mix up some icing just enough to make it runny a little now, bit. I just warmed it up a little bit and I Put a teeny bit of water in here and I'm just going to see what it might do if I tried. A little bit on top of each tree. What do you think? What does it look like snow coming down? I think it does. Dribbles down the outside. like it. Trees are dark. I think if it had been a Christmas tree, it probably would have been nice to maybe make them green or use green icing, but I think this looks wonderful. A little combination of both. It looks just like Big Bear in the winter, in the forest, and I'll do the other side now. We'll probably have some of this tonight with our chicken soup. Now, I have just started the chicken soup. I've chopped up some carrots, some celery, some onions. I have it going in a, a quart of, of a chicken broth, and I'll let that go for a while. Then I'll put in the chicken strips, and maybe if I have any extra chicken around, I'll put that in. And at last tonight, the noodles, and we'll have this when I come home from picking up Shannon. So there's the bun cake, ladies. And I think it was a success with one box. Two would have been a disaster. So right now, ladies, I have a pretty messy kitchen here, but I'm working on my chicken noodle soup for tonight. Thank you, Debbie, 
I wish you were here. I could send something over to you and Barry, but Moosey and I can't eat this whole cake by ourselves, so we're going to have to see what we can do. Maybe I'll send some to Micah tonight, and he can eat it after he goes on air. Home from picking up Shannon and ready for some nice hot chicken soup. Does that look good with carrots and onions and celery and chicken and noodles and some rye bread on the side? And a very nice dessert to look forward to. Well, I hope you hung in there, ladies, until the end. What did you think of the Bundt cake? I think I'm going to send, as Moose said, who's going to eat that whole thing? Well, here it is um, Wednesday, midweek. And um, I don't know whether it'll last for the weekend to be able to see uh, some of the little granddaughters. But I might send some up to Micah and he can take some to work uh, and maybe have it after he's on air before he goes on for the 10 o'clock news tonight. So I'll send some up to them. I don't think Colleen will eat too much cake, but I'll share it around as much as I can right now. Now, let me show you what I'm wearing. I've changed outfits very quickly from sitting in the car this morning as I was um, waiting for Moosey to have his consultation with the doctor. And, and then it got so hot with that turtleneck on, I did a lot of food shopping after we left the doctors. Moosey and I did have our little car picnic uh, of breakfast. And uh, by the time I got out of the Walmart, I was in a super Walmart that I must have walked three miles trying to get my shopping and also down to the gardening center where I had to get food for the birds as well. So right now, my outfit, I've just thrown a shawl onto that little black play suit that I got last year and I've shown you those before. This I love this shawl. This is a paisley shawl in the brown colors that I love. I've had it for probably 40 years. I know you must get tired of me saying that, but I've all, I always thought maybe I'd make one of those wrap skirts where the fringe went down the side and it was at an angle. It was asymmetrical. Never did that though, but for the chilliness here, in the cottage, my um, red plaid reversible scarf I love. I love my white Aran pocket scarf that Mosey gave me. And honestly, it dresses up an outfit and keeps you warm at the same time. So I am on my way now to pick up my granddaughter, Shannon, and um, it'll be fun chit-chatting with her on the way home. I will... Moosey and I are so blessed to have these kids and grandkids and great-grandkids every once in a while to, to cheer us up. So it's a chirpy nanny again. <laughs> My aches and pains are still there, but certain things just help you forget them. Thank you so much for watching. And those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please join our family. Sometimes we have a lot going and other times it's just living Living the simple life, which at this point in our lives is perfectly fine for us. I love you all. Thank you for all your loyalty, your watching, and your comments. And God bless us all.